Hello, this is Walker Physics, 4th edition, and we are in Chapter 7 on Work and Kinetic Energy. Into the chapter questions, number 21. A 9.5 gram bullet has a speed of 1.3 kilometers per second. Okay, I already know there's problems here because, remember, we want meters per second as velocity, and kilograms has to be our mass. And so if they're giving us other stuff like that, we have to convert it before the math works. What is its kinetic energy in joules? All right, so kinetic energy is exactly the same formula as the work formula when you have velocity. So you're going to have uh, kinetic energy equals one-half mv squared. Okay, so first of all, we have to get kilograms for mass and meters per second for velocity. So what do we got? We have 1.3 kilometers okay, per second, and we want to go to meters per second. So we'll say that in 1,000 um, meters per kilometer, so kilometers will cancel. Now I'm in meters per second, and meters per second now is going to be what? 1,300? 1,300 meters per second. So there's our first piece. The other one's kilograms, 9.5 um, grams. And we have a thousand grams in a kilogram. Grams cancel and it's going to be, what is it, 0 0.0095 kilograms. So those two are used in our formula. So we'll have kinetic energy is one half times 0 0.0095 times 1300 squared, all right, which gives me kinetic energy equals 8.02. It looks like we have two significant figures here. which is still going to be zeros, so 8,000, this will be 8,000 joules, so this is A, A is 8,000 joules, or it would be 8.0 times 10 to the 3, that's how you would do two significant digits that way. Now, second question, what would the kinetic be if it were halved, all right, so if I half, I don't use 1,300, I would use 650, and it would be the same. It would be one half times 0 0.0095 times 650 squared. And 650 squared would give you 2007, which would reduce to 2.0 times 10 to the 12. So what's happened? I went from 8,000 to 2,000. This is B. All right, so we went down by four. So if I half it, there's the square, okay? I half the velocity, then it's two, I divide by two, but it's two, two squared. So I'm actually, I'm actually reducing it uh, 4,000. What's gonna happen if you double it? So instead of 1,300, I go to 2,600. Do you see that it's gonna go up by four times? Because it's two times two, it's two squared. So my guess it's going to be 32. That's my that's my guess. Let's see what it is. One half times 0 0.0095 times 26 hundred squared. Okay, that's going to give you 32110, which goes to 32 thousand joules. And there's your C. Okay. Can you see if I double the velocity, I quadruple the kinetic energy. If I half the, the velocity, I divide the kinetic energy by four. So it's the same idea. Okay? Okay, thanks.